back then, the Nifty has dipped into the red, uh, but let's focus on uh, something that was of key interest uh, in yesterday's trading session as well. Let's talk about the Mumbai Metro Phase 3. We have with us uh, S. Ramnath, uh, the CFO of ITD Cementation, who joins us to apprise us of all those details. Hi, sir. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. Uh, we are aware that, in fact, you emerged as the lowest bidder for, uh, for Package 4. Give us some details in terms of what was that uh, bid and what exactly is your percentage of that particular bid? Thank you, Nigel. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have uh, we are L1 in one package Correct. out of the seven packages, and uh, we have to await uh, detailed evaluation by the Mumbai Metro authorities. Uh, so that is the position, and uh, our tender value is approximately 3,000 crores. Tender value is 3,000 crores, and it covers uh, the stretch between Worli and uh, Mahim. Right, Mr. Ramnath, but you have 40% stake in that particular JV, I believe. So will that work out to around 1,200 crores? And also, could you give us the execution period? Is it uh, 40 months? Is it 45 months? What is it? Yeah. Uh, as you may be aware, this, uh, the entire uh, phase, the entire uh, metro mm. is slated to be completed in about four to five years. Uh, the entire, including stations and all facilities. Uh, but I don't expect only tunneling. So, so our the entire of the 3,000 crore contract value, uh, we are in joint venture, as you are aware, with the uh, CEC of Taiwan and Tata Projects. Yeah. And our share in that work should be about 40%, which is 1,200 crores. So you are right in that regard. Okay, so ITD, uh, go ahead. I think I would expect about four to five years. Completion. Okay. What could be the margins you could possibly enjoy on this particular project, sir? Margins will be good, Rima. I don't want to talk about numbers and all that, but margins will be good. More than 10% uh, at least? These are, I think, good projects. Uh, <laughs> I would expect so. I would expect so. Okay. What would be uh, the total capex which you will require for it? Would you need to raise any equity or debt funding for this particular project? We don't plan to have any, for this specific project, we don't plan to have any equity uh, raising because mm. this is not that big a project in that sense and uh, also the I think uh, the requirements will be met through our uh, existing bank facilities that we have that is in the form of guarantees and any other working capital we'll need to execute the project as far as capex is concerned we have a plan to handle that this project will involve some capital expenditure but we have uh, already tied up that all right uh, Mr. Ramnath then uh, when exactly will this revenue, you're talking about 1,200 crores, when exactly does it start uh, reflecting in your books? Could you give us uh, some idea of that? And also, uh, we have seen in the past, there's lots of agitation that, uh, you know, these projects face. In that, suppose that happens, then who bears the working capital cost? Uh, this being a tunneling project, Nigel, I do not expect any major displacement of people okay naturally because this is underground metro normally you would have uh, issues on alignment and uh, displacement and all that more in uh, elevated projects okay now in this particular case i do not expect major problems but even so there could be some areas where we have to have station buildings and access to stations and also uh, some areas where we need to set up our uh, uh, facilities for managing the project so that would be temporary. I don't think there are major challenges in this project. And these have been, I think, uh, planned by the metro authorities. So when would this project uh, start? And would you get any portion of your revenues from this in F-517? Uh, I think the project is expected to start by January. Mm. I do not expect anything uh, to come this year, that is CY-15. Mm. But next year and uh, year after, we should see re decent revenues coming through. All right, uh, Mr. Ramnath, then I think you'll be, require, uh, you'll be requiring TMBS, that's uh, tunnel boring machines. So am I right on that front? No, we, uh, the whole package will require, I think, three, right. uh, possibly four, right. okay, minimum so of three, possibly four tunnel boring machines. And uh, as I said, we and with our partners, we have already made arrangements for that. So that will be on an operational lease basis? Yeah, possibly. We, could, we have options. We can look at that if it is... Uh, viable we could look at that we could look at a capex okay uh, but right. between uh, th uh, uh, with the joint venture we have i don't see that as a major problem okay 
So what's been the total order booking so far, especially in the quarter gone by? And what would your target be on order booking for the full year? Now, these along with some other projects where we are L1, I would call this, we don't enter these as orders till we get the award Correct. actually in our hand. So we are L1 here and similarly there are a couple of other projects amounting to about uh, 22, 2300 crores where we are L1. Mm -hmm. So these would enter our order books in this quarter, most probably, uh, once we receive the awards. So based on this indication, you will see a very robust order growth by end of this year, I think. All right, Mr. Ramnath, and one final question from my end. Uh, you're, you're sounding quite optimistic. Could you give us some update in terms of the JNPD port as well as on the Tutti uh, uh, order? Has that come through? Could you just update us on both those two uh, orders? JNPT work is going on. Okay. Uh, JNPT, that is the uh, Bharat Mumbai container terminal work that is going on at JNP port is going on well. Mm. And uh, and uh, Tutti Korin, I don't know what you are mentioning in Tutti Korin. There are uh, already uh, work going on into right. uh, in uh, Ennore and uh, some other projects that we are L1. As I said, a couple of projects are about 2200 crores. That also we are expecting the awards to come through by this month or latest next month. Okay, so we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in and speaking to CNBC TV 18. So that's ITD Cementation saying that they are.